Hey man, what are you doing? I am preparing for this week's video. Dude, it just looks like you're looking at Instagram filters. Yeah, this week's video is all about filters, so I'm looking at filters. This week's video is about lens filters. You do know that, right? Wait, what? Yeah, dude. Ah, sh**. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andy, and on this channel, we talk about audio, video, and tech. And in this week's episode, we're talking lens filters. All right, guys, lens filters. What are they? What do they do? And why do you need them? We're going to talk about four main categories of lens filters in this video. We're going to talk about ND filters. We're going to talk about CPL filters. We're going to talk about diffusion filters. And lastly, we're going to talk about effects filters. So let's start with the first category of filter, the ND filter or the neutral density filter. What this filter does is it cuts down on the amount of light that is going to enter your lens and hit your sensor. Why is that even important? So let's say you're outside shooting on a sunny day and you're wanting to get that nice, beautiful cinematic footage. You're gonna be shooting at 4K 24 frames a second, which means your shutter speed is gonna be one over 50 to maintain the most accurate motion blur. Shooting at that shutter speed is gonna let a tremendous amount of light into your sensor and it's gonna blow out your footage. The only way to correct it without a filter is to crank up your shutter speed and that is gonna make your footage look very choppy and robotic. So that's why an ND filter is super important. This ND filter happens to be a variable ND filter, which I would highly recommend because it allows you to adjust the amount of light that you're gonna cut down on the, the sensor. So it allows you to adjust uh, based on your environment. So super, super handy, everybody needs an ND filter. All right, the next filter we're gonna talk about is the CPL filter or the circular polarizer. This filter comes in really, really handy if you're shooting a lot of uh, nature footage or photos, uh, especially involving water. Um, water tends to reflect really, really intensely in bright sunlight. And again, it's going to cause blown out patches in your footage. Uh, it also comes in handy if you're going to shoot anybody through a window or any sort of reflective surface. What this does is it actually cuts down on that reflection and you can turn it to adjust what reflections it cuts out. That way you can cut down on your reflections without having to change any camera settings. Uh, I don't use it a ton. It's not on my lens a lot, but I do find myself throwing it on from time to time. The next filter is probably the most fun filter in my opinion, and that is diffusion filters. Now this is a Moment Cinebloom 10% filter. Uh, I just recently picked this up and I absolutely love it. Typically it would be on my camera right now, but I wanted to show it in the video. Um, what this does is it gives you a really soft cinematic feel to your 4K footage. So we all love 4K and super high definition everything, um, but the problem is it, it tends to start to get a little fake looking. Uh, it doesn't look cinematic, it looks over sharpened and sometimes it's just not right for the scenario. Uh, so these kind of soften the edges a little bit of the footage without losing the detail. And they also do a really great job of blooming the highlights um, in, in the footage. So, you know, around uh, lighting sources, you get this really nice bloom of light and it looks super cinematic and it looks really nice and soft, kind of like dreamlike. Now these filters come at a different strengths. There's a 5%, a 10%, and a 20%. I find 10 is kind of the sweet spot. 5%, I tried that and I didn't really notice um, a ton of difference. The 20%, it's a lot. It's definitely a particular look, but it's pretty intense. So the 10% the is one that you could leave on your lens and really not have to worry about taking it off because I love shooting like outside nature shots with this. It just gives it that soft kind of dreamy feel. So I freaking love this filter, by the way. Um, Moment's not the only company that makes them. There's Tiffin, they make a ProMist filter that's really, really popular. Um, but they all pretty much do the same thing. Give you that bloom in the highlights and kind of soften the edges a little bit uh, without losing detail. So super fun filter. The last category of filters, FX filters. Now I don't have an FX filter handy, but there are several kinds. Uh, there are the anamorphic lens flare filters, there's prism filters, kaleidoscope filters, and these all give a very unique effect to your footage. The thing that I would be a little weary about um, using these filters is you shoot your footage with it on it, 
and there's really no way to get rid of it in post. So you have to really be dedicated to that effect uh, for that particular shot. I typically like to add those things in post so that I can have more options. So if I wanna add a, like a lens flare, I can add that in, or I want to create a kaleidoscope effect. I can actually do that in post, and I think it just has a little bit more flexibility. Some people really love these filters because again, it's eliminating a step in your editing process. The downside though, again, is if you shoot the footage with it on it, it's on there, it's it's baked into the footage. There's no way to, to get rid of it. So there are some really cool uh, effect filters that I'm gonna probably be getting in the future, but as of now, I just really haven't found the need for them. So, so those are the four main kinds of filters, guys. I know this wasn't the most mind-blowing, exciting video, but it's definitely something that is uh, a very inexpensive upgrade to your kit, a very inexpensive upgrade to your lenses, um, and it's gonna allow you to do a lot more things uh, with the gear that you already have by adding a nice you know, filter to your lens. Uh, I really am a huge fan of the KNF uh, ND filters. They're very affordable. Uh, and they work really great. I like the Moment Diffusion filter. Um, the CPL filter is a KNF filter as well. Um, so again, very affordable options. You can find them all on Amazon and eBay and B&H and every site under the sun. Um, but they're definitely worth picking up some filters and uh, hopefully it'll improve your footage. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I appreciate you watching and uh, please like and subscribe down below if you found the video helpful. Uh, that would really help me out uh, as I'm making these videos and growing the channel. That's all I got. All right. See ya.